time, but my guests this afternoon are local authors Paige Toon and Ali Harris, uh, besties as well, good chums uh, here on the studio. Actually, you, you, you carpooled here as well. <laughs> we, we did. did. did didn't you? Who's driving? No carpool karaoke, though. Who's driving? Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. We'll yeah. Past it. Is she a good driver, Ali? <laughs> I'm the driver. She's always the driver. Ali really? She's the grown-up. Okay. <laughs> Does she let you sit in the front or do you have to sit she in the back? Sit in the front. <laughs> Strap her into the car seat. Um, well, let's talk about, I mean, your, your, your current projects, um, the one we fell in love with, um, which which harks back in some part, Paige, is it right to your to your childhood? Because you it's about triplets and you went to school with triplets? Yes, that's right. Um, I did. I went to school um, with identical triplets when I, when I grew up in a small town in Australia. And I just remember sort of, um, you know, everybody knew who they were. You know, everyone was sort of always saying, right, she's one of the triplets, you know, and I kind of just recently was thinking about them for some reason. And so I thought they must have felt a bit like celebrities, you know, sort of w- just everybody knowing who they were. And but a at home, you know, with their mum and dad, they were just one of three. And, mm. and as a mum myself, you know, it's sort of it's hard to devote a decent amount of time. And the idea of having three babies who are all going through exactly the same stages of life at exactly the same time, I just thought that would be such a challenge. And I was sort of thinking, you know, if you were one of those girls, you know, what it would would it be like from from their perspective? So, funnily enough, I've ended up writing about all three of the girls because they each tell the story in alternating chapters about um, the boy next door who moved in next door when they were 17 and um, they all kind of, you know, developed these big crushes on them and now 20, sort of, they're now 27, 10 years later and one of them is marrying him but there's quite a lot of water under the bridge and a few things that still need to be resolved, so. Yeah. Okay, so he's the one that we <laughs> fell, in, one love fell in love with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, how much when you, I mean, th- this is book number what now? Well, this is my 10th women's fiction book but it's my 12th book because I wrote two of, of I've been for the last two years. I've been writing uh, two books a year, a young adult series too. So I've got the third book in that series, which will be my thirteenth book my coming goodness. out in July. Um, yeah. So, but my tenth women's fiction. It's been ten years basically since I first mm. first published Lucy in the Sky, two thousand and seven. So yeah. And you've built a huge following in that time. Uh, how much I wonder when you, when you sit down to write your new book. Um, are you sort of beholden to what's expected of you? I mean, you've got these fans. It's a bit like a, you know, like a like a pop star. You know, they do some yeah. sort of <laughs> some sort of weird album which doesn't reflect the rest of their other work, and and the, and the store what fans are like. You know, what's this? I mean, how much are you kind of beholden to what the, the fans expect of you from a new book? To be honest, this is I always write from the heart, and I always mm. just always have. You know, this is this is a sort of book that I would like to read. Um, you know, sort of really romantic, feeling quite torn, you know, sort of emotional at times. Um, and so this is, this is, yeah, this is my heart basically, you know, you're reading, you're reading, you know, what, what I would like to read. So, so I think in that respect, I kind of always, I, these days I feel a little bit more confident when I finished a book that I, if I sort of know that my readers are going to love it, um, mm. because if I felt the way that I felt when I was writing it, I still remember Lucy in the Sky, my first book, you know, feeling absolutely terrified about the idea of all these people reading this book. And everybody judging me and everybody who's all of my friends and family even and, you know, all my colleagues. It's just a very, very nerve wracking experience. And I was just absolutely terrified. And then I just remember sort of just calming myself down a bit and thinking, right, if any of your readers feel the way that you felt when you were writing it, then they're going to love this book. And um, and yeah, I think getting those first sort of Amazon reviews and Goodread reviews, you know, that was some of the happiest moments of my life, you know, kind of because mm. they really did get the book the same way that you know, I kind of like fell in love with this character as I was writing about him. And so, you know, and they kind of felt the same. So, and it's been like that pretty much for every book ever since, you know, sometimes I might hit like a small rocky patch, but, um, but on the whole, like, this one was quite challenging having to get into the mindset the of, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it, it's probably, it's more, com- not complicated, but there's a big part in it, which, you know, I was, I'm just going to refer to it as that bit because I don't okay. want to like give anything <laughs> away. But um, but yeah, that, I've I've never done anything like that before. And um, and to write from the perspective of three very different women and to make each of their voices unique and sort of stand out from each other, so people weren't confused when reading them. I had to do a lot of research. Um, one of them sort of learns all about baking, and so I. When there's a, a a nice local woman who um who set up a micro bakery a couple of years ago and um and whitecottagebakery.com if you ever want to check out any of her creations. But um, one of the girls goes to work in a bakery, so I had to learn how to, you know, I mean, I didn't actually learn how to bake myself, but I sat there and watched her doing it and was writing about it in that respect. And another one goes rock climbing, and I couldn't think of anything worse, so I sort of had to learn about that too. So, it was, yeah, it's really real a real challenge, but, yeah, one I really enjoyed, and so far the reviews are, are coming back good. <laughs> well, that, it's like method acting, isn't it? Method writing, it really I guess. Is. That, but that attention that. to detail yeah. is is important because if you sort of make it up and it's not it's That's not exactly real, the, it. the reader will 
sort of pick, you know, spot yeah, no, it in a mile off. I've, I've actually sort of said that before. It is a bit like being an actress. You know, you're inside these characters' heads and you have to, if you really want that to come across to your reader, then you really have to feel what they're feeling, you know. So I do sort of sit there blubbing or, you know, laughing or, you know, whatever. I'm sort of falling in love effectively. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Greg, that's my husband. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you know, you made, me, you made me think about that. Does, does your husband read your, read your books? He used to. Um, he read my first five and then we moved to Cambridge and he was designing our house. So he's an architect. And so mm. every night he was having to do loads and loads of drawings and technical drawings. And we just ran out of time. And then with the next book after that, I was sort of waiting for him to read it and it was getting really, really close to the deadline. And, and he didn't read that one too. And that got the, like, the best reviews that I've ever had for any book out there. Yeah. It was like the highest rated book on, well, the second highest rated book on Amazon of all time the year that it came out. It was like a crazy amount of five star reviews. And, and he said to me, right, you don't need me anymore. So. Yeah, because I think it'd be hard as a husband not to be paranoid if you're, you know, writing about some romance <laughs> blossoming with a hunky postman or something. And then you'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be waiting for the round. I'd be waiting for the post to be delivered. Delivered, just to make sure, you know, hang on, where's this inspiration coming from? <laughs> no, he's um, he's confident enough. <laughs> with um, I remember taking him to a book launch once with um, with Jackie Collins. You know, it was her yeah. book launch, and I remember her saying to me. He looks like something that would have stepped off one of my books. <laughs> oh, they are. so he's, he's You're still on a that high. You just said that he's still on a high. Yeah, um, gonna kill me. Later. Uh, Ali, tell us about Triple Melt. Now, this is a new project you've it got. Is. It's a it's a blog zine. It is. Is it now? What it's is a blog zine? Basically, a website. Okay. A, a lifestyle website um, with. Um, there's three of us that have produced it myself um one of my best friends who's a fashion editor and uh, another great friend of mine who's the beauty editor and it's basically our way of getting our voice and the things that we really love um in one place um and the idea behind it was just that we felt that there was nothing really out there for us like we're kind of really busy like kind of Mm. juggling like work and kids and life and family and everything and I don't have the time to sit and kind of trawl through endless blogs or, you know, magazines even these days. So it was a, we decided that we just wanted some, something for us and for people like us where they could go on and, and read blogs and watch vlogs. But the, the unique thing about it is they're all under three minutes long. So that it literally is that moment where you get to escape to go to the toilet <laughs> and hide from your children for three minutes or like, you know, to be able to you know, be kept in the loop about the things that we were interested in. And so it covers everything from fashion, beauty, books, obviously. We've got a book club section where I'll be doing book reviews and also a kind of um, write your own section. So there'll be lots of great author tri- tips from like my great friends, from me as well, because I write books too. But I also obviously know loads of authors and people in the publishing industry. And um, yeah, some great fashion stuff. Um, Ashling is a you know, fashion editor with years and years of experience. So she's going to be co- loads of cool tips from her and like, you know, beauty stuff and parenting tips. And Well, not parenting tips, because who can, who can actually give parent tips, really? Yeah, yeah. More like, you know, shared, writing, shared writing shared experiences, shared experiences yeah. that might help other people. So, um, so yeah, it's just been a really fun kind of sideline um, and a way of doing something, like I said earlier, about like, you know, writing books can be very isolating. And I love it. Um, and I love being in my shed. But this has been a really great way of getting to kind of sort of embrace the other things that are great about my job and the kind of the, the, the people that you get exposed to and the kind of information that you get and, and, and put it all in one place. So mm. it's triplemelt.co.uk and it's going to be launching on Friday. So um, we're very excited. Right, good luck. Oh, we're running a really great competition at the moment, actually, by the way, because we've, we're on Instagram at the moment um, at triplemelt. So um, and we're giving away a copy, a signed copy of Paige's book, uh, the one I fell, the one we fell in love with, and a pair of Ray Ban sunglasses and a Chanel nail polish. Okay, well, st- stop now before I have to slap your wrist yeah. for plugging, <laughs> plugging too oh, much. Oh no, I didn't even. Think of that. <laughs> it's Sorry. fine. We'll cut that bit out. Don't worry. Um, Ali, we must leave it there. Actually, um, Ali Harris, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, uh, you heard about her new blog and also Paige Toons' uh, new book, the one we fell in love with as well, which is uh, out now. Thank um, you Paige, so much. Ali, thank you so much, both of you, for joining us this Thank afternoon it's uh, 40 minutes to 3 BBC Radio Cambridgeshire